hey hi guys welcome to the gate chemistry channel and uh, tomorrow is the gate examination some of you might be really nervous some of you might not be but i'm just here to share some uh, tips related to the examination not like the technical tips but something which is a consequence of the examination all right so uh, by now your preparation i am assuming is almost done and uh, you might have a certain goal in your mind related to the examination right some of you might be attempting to um, i mean depending on your preparation as well some of you might be uh, you know looking forward to just clearing the cutoff and cracking the examination so to say and others might be looking to you know uh, get a top 100 top 200 depending upon what you uh, want from the examination all right see uh, we have covered this a lot in detail before that this examination even if you you know qualify it has a lot of value a lot of advantages um so if you are targeting getting into a government sector of course you need to you know get into top 100 top 50 or you know top 200 at least so that is what you should be aiming for and depending on the examination this the number of marks that you would want to score will change so the last exam was easy so i am expecting that this exam would also be or should also be easy and so you know definitely your goal should be minimum scoring above 60 um to get a good rank decent rank i would say not even a good rank because uh, so anyway i'm not here to demoralize you but i just want to you know keep the facts and if you want to just qualify the examination then you know you should keep in mind that, that if the exam is easy the cutoff could go to 35 now the whole point of telling you this is that if your goal is straight like you have it in your mind that you whether you want to just crack the examination or you want to really get a really good rank so keep in mind if the exam level is easy you know scoring 45 50 will not help you reach the goal of getting a government getting a job, government job or getting a rank which will fetch you a government job right so then you have to make informed guesses and attempt the questions because there's no point of just going for 40 45 and you know uh, attempting 50 marks worth of paper and then coming back if the exam is easy of course it depends on the level let me emphasize that a lot okay so then you need to make informed guesses so for example there are some questions where you're doubtful you know that one of the two options is correct and you're doubtful then my recommendation would be that rather than sitting on a 50 like rather than just sitting on 50 marks if you really want that if you really want to get into a government sector if you want that rank then you should attempt marks like you know you should be able to attempt the examination for at least 60 70 marks depending on the level of examination right so this 60 70 is an arbitrary number it will depend upon the exam if the exam is difficult maybe in 60 you might get top 50 also okay so that depends on the level of the exam what my basic idea over here is to tell you that you should be clear with your goal and then you should attempt accordingly okay so even if you have to make some risky decisions or even if you're not sure about the questions but you're attempting let's say 40 50 marks worth of paper that will not help you similarly if your idea is just to qualify the exam okay just to you know get up uh, get above the cutoff um, even then so let's say if you're scoring 23 24 or if you've just just attempted 24 marks worth of paper that is not going to help you qualify if the exam is easy the cutoff will easily go beyond 30 so then you know sitting on 24 25 marks will not help you okay nobody's gonna ask you that oh uh, nobody's going to sympathize with you that you missed the cutoff by one or two marks okay either you qualify the examination or you don't qualify the exam right so even sitting at 23 24 will not is not going to help you if the exam is easy definitely the cutoff is going to go above 30 so you you have to attempt minimum 35 or 40 marks worth of paper in order to have a chance to qualify okay so sitting on 23 24 is not going to help you so even then you have to take certain risks maybe you need to attempt some aptitude based questions or you need to uh, you know attempt some chemistry based or subject based questions wherein uh, you are uh, you know not that confident okay you're not very sure about the answer but sitting at 23 24 is not going to help so the whole idea is to go for your goal okay whatever your goal might be it's there is no point in in you know sitting below your goal okay or attempting the uh, examination below your goal all right and uh, <coughs> to calm i mean you would be wondering that you know how am i trying to calm your nerves so first of all if you see the background that is something that might calm your nerves uh, i hope so and uh, the second thing is that um 
there are a lot of opportunities see very limited number of people qualify this gate and net examination so it's not like everybody is sitting jobless or they don't have good opportunities okay uh, right now what happens is your peer group it so happens it happens with everyone that your peer group entirely is focusing on you know the gate exam and the net examination and you know if you see your uh, small circle that you have um, everybody is kind of like you know um, trying to measure your success with with your gate score and your net score okay but that's a very limited domain okay so the opportunities are uh, are there they are very much there it's just that your horizon right now is limited okay so don't worry even if you don't qualify the exam or if you qualify it's good and even if you don't qualify then also it's good okay there are innumerable opportunities Uh, that you are going to get right like i said your horizon might be limited right now that's why you are not able to see through those opportunities but as you move forward in life you will realize that you know um that that things are not that simple like there are many many opportunities and sometimes what happens is um right now again like i said because our horizon is limited we might think that this is only our interest let's say you know phd is only our interest or you know getting a job is only our interest or getting a psu job is only our interest but as you move forward in life okay and then you see that there are different other disciplines as well you would realize that oh if i did not move forward or you know if i had qualified the gate examination got a good rank maybe i would have never explored this opportunity and thank god that i did not get a good rank or thank god i did not qualify because these opportunities opened up which i would never have been able to you know explore had i got the f- like had i stuck to the first opportunity that i got okay just as an example um there's a very successful youtuber um in this domain you might know of um i not you know youtuber now i'll sh- uh, now i'll say she is a entrepreneur j chemistry right so initially she also wanted a government job right after like all of us do after the gate examination not all of us i i didn't want that okay so uh so but uh, that did not happen for her that year and look where she is today right so this is just one exam- example that i wanted to give you um so anyway if you qualify that's great if your examination goes good that's great um, kudos to you and even if it does it does not doesn't matter much okay so take care and all the very best uh, this is the first time i'm not giving the examination so you would not see a review of the examination from my side it feels weird because i love giving these entrance examinations just go for the thrill of the exam i like giving these examinations okay so all the very best take care and that's it for today Hey guys so I am a verified educator on an academy and along with that I am also available on the unacademy plus platform where I am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETHI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is acht once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform